What's up everyone? Welcome to Everything Rollerblading. Today we're going to go over the Razor shells and compare the Shift, the Cult, the Genesis, and the SL and kind of go over some similarities, some differences, what's better, what's not, and uh, overall just compare the skates. Alright, so starting out we here have the Razor's SL shell. This is the horn. It's a pretty old skate. We have the Razor's Colts. I think this is like one of the team, or one of the, it's one of the newer ones that they released. We have the Razor Shift Camo, which I just did in a review of. So if you want to check it out, um, go on my channel. And I have the Razor's Genesis. I believe this is a limited edition or something like that. They just re-released. Um, but yeah, so we are going to do some sole plate comparisons. We're going to do, I even got a scale. Uh, I do do cent centimeters and kilograms, so I apologize, but you can always just convert on Google. All right, so to start off, we're going to do the SL as our base, and then we're just going to compare everything to the SL. The reason being, it's, it's probably the most common skate. Everybody knows it. Yes, it's my favorite, but we're just going to go off of that. So. Looking at sole plate sizes here, sole plate and negative, you can kind of see right off the bat, they're not really that much off. The negative is probably smaller on the Colt, and uh, the backside plate has a much better groove on the SL than it does on the Colt. Now, that being said, the Colt might be the fastest skate grind-wise that Razors has because of these little rivets that they drilled in. There's less surface area touching the, the ledge of the rail, and so you just glide. All right, next up, we got the shift. Now, the shift is noticeably a bigger sole plate. You can kind of just, you can eye it. Now, I can do my millimeters over here, and I'm seeing 4.2 almost. In the back end and here I'm seeing 3 point I'll be generous 3.9 and then the front of the backside plate we're looking at almost 4.1 front here we're looking at almost 4 so there you have it definitely a bigger sole plate negative wise 2.5 2.5 oh almost 3 pretty close so yeah, that makes the shift the biggest sole plate in the business. All right, next up we have the Razor's Genesis. Probably my second favorite. Now, this one is almost as fast as the Colt when it comes to grinding because of the lines. And ironically, different colors of plastic do affect the speed. I've, I've kind of learned that over the years. Anyway, looking at the sole plates, they look kind of similar, so We'll go over here and it's going off a little bit. We'll say almost four. And I think we said almost four here. 3.5, maybe 3.6. So actually same size in the front, smaller in the back. Negative wise, we're looking at 3.2 and 2.2. So negative, it actually has more in the front. So this might actually help you because a lot of people, they lean a little bit more on the front part of the, the negative plate when they grind. Um, one thing I forgot to mention about the shift, uh, this one being a uh, kind of a one-piece adapt uh, on-click sole, whatever you want to call it. This is also very fast, but from my experience, the Genesis and the Cult are by far the fastest when it comes to sole grinds. All right, next up, we're going to talk about cuffs. A lot of times you're just going to see a, I'm just going to call it a high cuff on the Razor's uh, models, especially the SL. Um, what I've noticed is it's a little bit more durable now than it used to be. That can help you if you like to skate loose like me. Now on a Genesis, this is a V-cut cuff, but you're also going to get a high cuff when you order them, at least for now. I haven't seen one that comes with a V-cuff yet. It's also, the Genesis are very rare. Now the shift on the other hand comes with the V-cut cuff. Now the advantages with the V-cut cuff are 
you see more of the liner, so aesthetics is definitely better. The way that the plastic is enforced actually makes it less bendable and more sturdy, ironically. So it gives you a little bit more play in the back, but it actually holds your foot in more. Now going into the now going into the cult, same thing. You're gonna have a higher cuff. Now I'm not 100% sure, but it seems like some of the cult cuffs are actually softer than the high cuffs that you get on the um, SLs. That could just be something, um, you know, different plastics, different colors, but that's one thing I've noticed. Now, I don't know, it could be, could be a diff bunch of things, but V cuff, cuff is what I recommend. This, this is kind of what I try to put on every skate if I can. Okay, so here's kind of a closer look at what I was calling the high cuff. This is off the uh, re-release um, SL Reds. And uh, what I'm gonna show you now, this is for those of you that have been skating uh, or been around a minute or done your history. This is an Aragon 4 SL cuff, all right? Now, they used to make these, and you can tell distinctly, distinctively in the back there's a difference. And just overall, kind of the mold, there's a difference because it kind of goes down in the front where this one's flat, this one kind of goes down, right? And so stability wise, it's it's almost like paper to plastic in my opinion. These things, all the vert skaters, this is what they use. So if you can get your hands on older SL cuffs, which you can always tell really quick because there's a razors embedded in here, right? Or cut in here, whatever you want to call it. If it has that, it's the old cuff. Now these things, they're hard to find, but if you can find them, I highly recommend them. All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for, maybe, we're gonna weigh these things and see if there's a big difference, you know, no difference. I've, I've always been kind of curious. So we're gonna start with the Colt. So the Colt is right around, we're gonna say, let's go just round up. So we'll do 2.1, 2 or I'm sorry, one, Oh my God, I gotta read this. All right, so one kilogram, 0.21. Yeah, 1.21 kg. All right, you can just Google that. Next up, the SL. Now these are all kind of the same liner, so we're not changing it. Look at that, 1.2. That makes this lighter right now, so we're gonna kind of put that over there. And the Genesis. Ouch. All right, well, the Genesis, maybe it's that extra shoelace, I don't know. Um, they're looking at almost 1.3. They're 1.29. All right, that's hard to believe because these, these babies are fun to skate. Now, this one should be the lightest, right? The shift. Well, that's a negative. We are at 1.32. That's, that's hard to believe because of the way these things look and how simple they are. That's... I'd like to know where they're hiding the weight. All right. Now what it could be for the Colt, in my opinion, they don't have shock absorbers. That could be one of the things, now that I'm thinking about it. The rest of these babies got the shock absorbers in them. I've checked, don't worry. But yeah, so the shift being the heaviest, next being the Genesis, and then going to the SL and the Colt. So Colt skaters, you, Actually, might have a small advantage there. All right, so now that we've kind of gone over the weight, the sole plates, the cuffs, we're not going to mess with the liners because it's it's the future. You can get any liner you want now. Um, but the, the stock liners aren't bad, and the rain liners are great. Uh, so what I'll mention about each skate real quick that I think is great is the Genesis or grinder machines. I really, really like them. I like the double laces, and if you have a wider foot, they fit you probably the best out of all these skates. All right, you can you can buy, you can downsize. The shift, which is kind of my new thing, I just got into. It's fairly tight in the front, so um, you almost have to go up a size. I, I'm able to hold my size, but I, I'm putting a ten liner and a nine shell. I love the pre groove. I feel like I can just put them on brand new and just go to town. Um, and I, I kind of like this this look. It's it's something a little different. All right, going to the SL, which like I said is kind of my favorite. It's it's simple, but it works. And 
you have a lot of options with what you can do with the sole plates. The, if you have a wide foot, these could be a little bit tight, but for the most part, they, they fit true to your foot and they just, they handle great. The Colts, in my vert skating days, this was it. These were, they had that real like high cuff, cuffs. And uh, I, love, I still love the way they look. Grinding wise, you, this is, if you're trying to learn how to grind, these might help you because if you can grind in these, you can grind in all of them because it's, it's harder. So all you cult riders out there, you're probably even better if you put on any other model. <clears throat> all right guys, that's about it. Um, stay tuned, should be talking about some frames next. Uh, I got a Kaiser Super Fluid frame, which is an $80 frame, believe it or not. And we're gonna kinda go over those and see if they're really worth it. Uh, other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and see you soon.